The media is telling the world that new Hong Kong leader John Lee Ka Chiu is a Beijing hardliner who crushed the 2019 pro democracy movement. This is rubbish, to put it kindly. John Lee is a local boy born in British Hong Kong and who rose up through the ranks of the British Hong Kong Royal Police. During 2019, the police continued to issue permits for demonstrations after more than 100 marches had turned violent. I can't think of any authority in the world which would have so much patience. And the 2019 rioters weren't a pro-democracy movement anyway. They wanted to liberate Hong Kong from mainland China in a revolution. Hong Kong people are strongly against independence. The rioters' violent campaign was profoundly anti-democratic. I mean, one of their main activities was burning down anything belonging to mainland immigrants. John Lee didn't spend that year crushing anyone. I was there. His most frequent activity was giving talks. And they were good talks too, explaining the real situation in the city. Something the media spectacularly failed to do. I decided that I'm going to introduce John Lee to you a different way. Now, one of my other jobs is to write about true crime. So, here's a true crime story. In 2001, a police station received a call about a noise complaint. A young officer named Leung, aged 23, went to investigate. He went alone because his partner hadn't finished lunch. Leung found the flat, knocked on the door and got no reply. And he radioed that information to the station. He never returned. Uh, when his body was found, he'd been shot four times and stabbed too. His gun and ammunition were missing. Despite a huge investigation, there were no leads. Puzzlingly, even sources in the triads had no idea who had done it. The perpetrator, who clearly had skill with weapons, vanished like a ghost. Later that year, there was an armed bank robbery in Chun Wan. The ruthless perpetrator had no qualms about shooting the Pakistani security guard dead with three bullets. Again, the police found no leads, the usual suspects said it was nothing to do with them, and the gunman vanished like a ghost. Five years passed. In 2006, a mystery man shot at two police officers in the Jordan area of Kowloon. He hit both of them, one fatally. But, incredibly, the dying officer shot the assailant five times before he died. The attacker also died. A nerdy but disciplined police problem solver named John Lee Kachu was given the job of unravelling the mystery. What he and his team discovered was extraordinary. The attacker was not a triad, not a gangster. He was a police marksman. His name was Choi Pol Ko, and he had achieved perfect scores in the gun portion of his police training. Lee and his team looked back through years of unsolved mysteries in which the skilled use of weapons was a factor and they noticed the two earlier unsolved crimes. Lee and his team found evidence to show he was responsible for all three. Choi was the ghost who had haunted Hong Kong for five years. Solving difficult problems is important. Hong Kong is still facing big issues. We know for a fact that more than 100 million US dollars have been earmarked for anti-China activity this year. We know that 10 million US dollars is earmarked to stir up trouble in Hong Kong. We know for a fact that the international media will not investigate. Someone is out to cause trouble in this part of the world. It may be that a nerdy but disciplined problem solver who is good at leading a team may be just what Hong Kong needs. Let's give John Lee a chance. Peace.